The following video is divided into two segments, a 30-second public service announcement and an eight-and-a-half-minute documentary on the hidden dangers of low-water crossings. Contact your nearest National Weather Service office for additional copies of this video, the script, or for more information about the hidden dangers of low-water crossings. are hidden dangers associated with flash floods. A low water crossing is where a road without a bridge dips across a normally dry creek bed or drainage area. These hidden dangers await unsuspecting motorists and account for nearly half of all flood-related deaths. Fast rising water across a highway can cause you to lose control of your vehicle in as little as six inches of water. Do not drive across flowing water. Everybody has observed flooding at some time, either firsthand or in the media. More people lose their lives in floods than in any other weather-related event. Related flood damages exceed $3 billion each year. The Great Flood of 1993 caused over $15 billion in damages across the upper Midwest. Similar floods from excessive rainfall associated with tropical storms or hurricanes attract much media attention and contain few surprises. These floods occur over days and weeks, while short duration intense rainfall events produce flash floods. Flash floods can roll boulders the size of cars, tear out trees, destroy buildings and bridges, and pose a significant threat to human lives. Flash floods can occur in what is normally a dry creek bed. A hidden danger awaits motorists where a road without a bridge dips across a creek bed. This is called a low water crossing. Low water crossings represent a hidden danger because flooding occurs in an area that people normally and frequently pass through. Few people appreciate the power of running water. Even fewer realize how fast water can rise in a small stream and flood a highway, creating a dangerous situation. A similar dangerous situation occurs for motorists who drive through low drainage areas flooded by standing water. Floods and flash floods are costly to human life and property. Nearly half of the flood-related deaths that occur each year are vehicle-related, and damages to vehicles can easily exceed $1 million. Although many of the highway dips that become low-water crossings are identified as potential flood areas, people do not understand the hidden dangers, and lives are needlessly lost. Dr. Susan Zevin, Deputy Assistant Administrator for Operations at the National Weather Service, will discuss why low water crossings can be so dangerous to motorists. Well, water weighs 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. What does that mean? That's the equivalent of two cinder blocks uh, that can hit you in your knees going at 10 miles an hour. When a vehicle stalls in the water, the water's momentum is transferred to the car. So for each foot that the water rises, 500 pounds of force on the side are applied to the car. Buoyancy is the biggest factor. For each foot of water that the water rises, it displaces 1,500 pounds that your car weighs, so that your car will weigh 1,500 pounds less than it did before. You can lose control of your car in two feet of water. And in smaller cars, you can lose control of the car in six inches of water. Why do so many people needlessly lose their lives in flooding at road dips and low water crossings? People have extreme confidence in the size and weight of their vehicle. Many people interviewed, such as Charles Lovett, expressed surprise at the force of the water. I tried to charge through the water, and I got about right here. 
when the truck just stopped, stopped dead, and I got, I panicked a little bit here, and it started to move a couple of inches, a couple of feet. As we moved down into the stream here, and we started to get carried away, it wasn't a floating sensation, it was as if we were completely out of control. The difference in many cases is inches. Those people who have at various times repeatedly driven through a flooded low water crossing do not recognize the danger of a small increase in the water level. The second misconception is the past history involved in driving through a low water crossing. I thought it wasn't deep, but I guess it got deep. Signs said don't go through here when it's flooded. Oh, I know, but other t I went through here before and it was not even deep at all. The third misconception is the idea that driving fast through a low water crossing will enable the driver to arrive safely on the other side. It's simply not true. The faster a driver attempts to cross a road covered with water, the less contact he has with the road. Once the vehicle begins to hydroplane, it begins to float and control of the vehicle is lost. Making the situation worse, more than half of all low water crossing vehicular related deaths take place at night when visibility is limited. Under these conditions, the vulnerability of the driver and passengers to the hidden danger is greatly magnified. The existence of low water crossings is very prevalent throughout the United States, especially in the Southwest, where many low water crossings exist. There are things you can do to reduce the risk of becoming a low water crossing fatality. Heed all flood and flash flood warnings issued by the National Weather Service. Do not drive around barricades at low water crossings. Be especially vigilant at night or when traveling on unfamiliar roads. Do not cross flowing water. Observe rising water indicators at low water crossings. Remember, as little as six inches of water may cause you to lose control of your car. Be aware that roadbeds may be washed away under the floodwaters. If you choose to abandon your vehicle, respect the force of the water. Remember, just six inches of fast-moving water will knock you off your feet. Floods and flash floods will continue to occur. NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and its National Weather Service has the mission to provide river and flood forecasts and warnings to the nation. But the warnings are only effective if the people know and understand the dangers of floods. Rising waters over roadways pose a threat to life, save lives and property. Don't take chances with hidden dangers at low water crossings.